Today we are starting work on our event dome. I'm super excited about this project. It's gonna be amazing when it's all completely done, but there is so much to do in the meantime. Um, and this episode is all about how it got started. The dome is 10 meters and that is going to sit inside a 25 meter circle so at the moment brian is mowing so that the man digging everything out knows exactly where to dig um so basically 25 meter circle and then we're going to build up two meter high acoustic buns all around it so that you don't kind of get the sound spill out um right but we've got to move this out of the way now so that's going to be our center of the circle yeah, well, I did have it there, but after measuring, I think we're going to be a bit too close to the woodland when it grows up. Yeah. So I, I want to make it, I think, 26 meters. So if I do it 13 from here mm -hmm. and then go all the way around. So if you hook that on, there, yeah. please. We've got to move key stones. Yeah, we're going to have. So 13 is there. So you're just going to have to mow a little bit higher, really. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to want you to do. Yeah is basically walk walk while you mow and i'll be tracking you okay so i've just got this grass marking paint which i'm going to use to draw out the circle so they know where to dig um so i'm just going to basically hold it against my 13 meters and draw a massive circle so yeah we're going for sort of 26 meters just because then that gives us play with how wide the acoustic buns are and stuff like that the other thing we need to do is mark with the grass paint where we're going to have our entrances so like one's going to be here where brian's mown the pathway down so that path is going to come from like the car park and communal area that sort of thing then we're probably going to have another one coming down from the glamping down into the, into the event space and i think that's probably just the two because we've got two doorways in as well um and then things like generator and stuff are going to go behind that bun there so as not to disturb anybody. You've got to set on 13 metres there. Yeah. This is not as easy as I make it look. <laughs> What's going on? I'm tired now. What, you've only done like a quarter of it. Oh, it my hand. I've never done one this side, I've done like a six metre. And a 7 metre, not this is a 13 metre. No, this is 26 metres. 26 metres, yeah. I'm so excited, the diggers here. It's um, the most gigantic digger I've ever seen and a dumper truck. And um, they're starting on digging out the dome. So, um, yeah, look, it's gigantic. So they're basically, obviously we're on like quite a sloop there. So they'd be digging out to make that whole bit level and then building up all, all our acoustic buns um, that we're talking about. So um, yeah, oh my God, I'm really nervous. Like, you know, you have a vision and you think, like, you don't know if the vision's gonna work, but now they're actually digging, it's like, no, we're going back now. This is it. So the guys are just, they just live in our village and they're so good. Um, they know exactly what they're doing. They're, um, they're just going to dig down and see what the kind of clay situation is um, and then yeah see how it goes so these guys have been here like probably about four hours and oh my god the progress they've made already like there's actually it's starting to be the buns are starting to take shape and it's starting to look a lot more level and it's amazing how they can just like crack on i'm well impressed and i'll go up there later when they've gone and take a like get in the center so you can kind of tell what it's gonna be like um so we've really made a mess of the field yeah but it's looking good have you seen what it feels like when you actually stand inside the space it's starting to look and feel so deep as creepers yeah this is what i'm saying we're gonna have to flatten all of this Oh and then man. Hopefully it'll all swing back in the spring. Maybe put a bit more seed down. But yeah, come and have a look in here. <laughs> I'm a bit like I feel a bit sick now. Why? Um 
Yeah, there's a lot to happen between now and us getting the, the dome. The dome's coming next week. Yeah, but we'll just have to store it for another week or two. Or month or so. Blinking Eck is a massive machine. Even the dumper truck is huge. Do you remember when we hired a dumper truck at one time? I think it was about half the size of that, if not yeah, smaller. Yeah, the digger was minuscule. Oh, the digger was tiny compared to this thing. And the dumper truck was tiny, yeah. But yeah, this is this is what you need. This is the kit you need to do this sort of stuff. So I'm at the top of the pile now, so you can see like it's gone quite clean down there. Um, but they've scooped quite up, it's about 70 mil, the difference between that height and that height. So they're just basically making the whole thing level. It looks pretty level to me. <laughs> the way the, so the soil all moves as he tries. So this is day three and uh, yeah it's even more of a quagmire than it was before. Well here we are at the end of what, two and a half days of digging and this whole area is now flat and so what we'll do is we'll put a bit of topsoil in here and then we'll be able to regrass it but I believe they're coming back tomorrow to shape all the banks and to hopefully make that there a gradient because come and have a look at actually Deep they've had to go down to make this area flat, which I didn't quite realise that there was such a difference. Well, it's nearly as tall as Annabelle. Well, yeah, so that, that is quite a bit compared to, compared to down there, where it's just there, a yeah. little bit. And so tomorrow they're coming back to shape all of the, the banks to make them into proper acoustic buns. And then also they're going to go down the bottom, which we'll show you in a minute where they've started to clean out all the di drainage ditches and, make a pond. and they're going to make a pond there for us so that they obviously so that they can get more soil to build this up even higher and to f make it all better what i what i would like I know, my feet. is this to kind of just meld in. yeah that's what he's going to do oh is he yeah cool. he's just going to shape it all yeah, so it like is right. like a bowl that just yeah and that's exactly what i want yeah cool well, i think that's going to be a hard bit of work in its own right. Well he's a skilled digger man so cool. should be all good. So they've also been down and scooped out all the ditch. So um, there's this lovely sludge yeah, now. Dry out. Well I think they're going to scrape some of that away. There's a ball. And someone's throwing a ball in there, yeah. William. So yeah, this looks a lot neater. And then they've marked out where the pond's going. Obviously it's like getting dark now, but um, I think, haven't they? Isn't there some blue marks somewhere? Yeah, so it's dark like over there. You can see the blue marks. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, so it's here. So it's basically going to be like a big oval. It is a big oval. That's going to, the ditch is going to feed into it so that it keeps it topped Very up. Much so. And they're hoping that they can use the clay to seal it so it doesn't leak. But Who worst knows? Worst case scenario, it, it dries up in the dries summer. Up in the summer. Yeah. But this area, even in the summer, is always boggy. Yeah. So. But, Question? Um, yeah, but when, um, as soon as you dig that out, then all the water just comes. Bleh. Yeah, the water will go into it. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. And then you won't be able to play in your ditch over there. Whoop whoop. So while um, James is just doing all the shaping, um, we're just going to come and mark out with the grass paint the size of the dome because we don't want them to put topsoil on where the dome's going, um, whereas they can sprinkle topsoil everywhere else. So we just need to do our usual trick of measuring a 10 meter circle and we'll spray it out. I've got boot issues. Do you think you've got boot issues? Look at me. I'm like totally caked in. I know, this is all just clay. So it's really sticky. So at the moment, he's just basically shaping it. So he's pulling down all this is going to be used for topsoil. And then he's going to kind of graduate it down so that it makes a nice, smooth kind of bowl idea. So today is the fifth day of the um, the guys that have been digging here. Um, I can't really talk because my face is so cold. <laughs> so it looks like there's still quite a lot to do because the buns aren't anywhere near high enough around here but they're getting there over that side um, and then you can see where the dome's going so he's put all loads of topsoil all around and we marked out to kind of leave a gap for where the where the dome is so um, that's where that's going and then he's kind of building up around here what I'm worried is that he's gonna say he doesn't need any more soil he's not gonna dig our pond um, which I'm quite excited about 
so we'll see because it, but it does look like we could do with quite a bit more dirt around this side so um yeah because there's still a lot to do so, so what he's done over here is it's he was a bank last night but this morning he's discovered that actually down where we're digging the pond it's a lot more clay down there and this was all nice topsoil because up here there's so much topsoil and he decided actually it's better let's scoop all the topsoil off to the side okay so, that, so he can then dig out all the clay dump all the clay there right and then he can put the topsoil back over it okay. and then build it up and then that way obviously grass on that clay there is not going to grow no. no matter how much you water it whatever you want the topsoil yeah but yeah it's looking good and if you come over here where the dome is going to be you've got like the whole dome so this we still need to track in but we'll put some grass seed up and then let it dry out and i think i'll just drive around a couple of times with the tractor yeah and then we got over there oh a little slope up has been done okay that's cool yeah so i thought it might have been a bit steep but I, I tested it out last night in the dark and it seemed to work fine, I thought. What, walking up here in the dark? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, it's... so you know what the kids are going to do, don't you? Well, go up and down the banks. They're going to ride their bikes up and down here or they're going to roll down here. Oh, that's what they want to do, as long as they don't crash into the dome. And then so James was suggesting that we leave this all flat at the top so that the kids can like run around the top up and down. I quite like it up here. You've got a much better view. Yeah. And you could then put your picnic table up here. Really? <laughs> I thought you were hell bent on it being like all grown up so that nobody could walk around up here. Yes, most probably. That's the more sensible. I don't know. Well, I don't know. That's not what you think. Would you let? Would you leave it flat, or would you try and get everything to grow up here so people don't climb up here? Well, either way, I'm putting grass on it. Yeah, and it, are you going to come up here and mow it? Like, you're actually going to drive up that slope with a mower? Luckily, the mower can get up there. Mm -mm, okay. But, yeah, I'm not sure. No. That's for another day, once the grass has grown. Yeah. But you can see the circle, and you can see now where the dome's going to go, so that's looking really awesome. Yeah. So, the guys have completely finished shaping our acoustic buns, and... The mud hole, as it is now affectionately known, is completely finished, like they've done everything that they're going to do. So now we need to turn the mud hole into a beautiful grassed area with beautifully grassed banks and wildflower and all that shenanigans. So we need to sow some grass seed. But yeah, how good does it look? Like how the guy does this with this bucket of his digger? I don't know. I'm just well impressed. I think it looks really good. You can see where the domes go. So um, Brian's come with a tractor and he's going to squash as much as we can of this down because it's all quite kind of loose. So there is, they have packed in quite a bit, uh, but we need to seed it and then we're just going to kind of roll her over it, I suppose. Um, so we bought an acre's worth of grass seed. So I'm hoping that's going to be enough. And, um, and just sprinkle, sprinkle. So we just went to Mile Valley and bought um, horse like pony paddock grass seed mixture so they reckon this is going to do an acre so hopefully i hope so but i think we need to really overseed it to make it really look lush and green in here oh yeah especially the sides and stuff i don't know how we're going to pack it in the walls i've got no idea well we'll have to give it a go and see and also we've had no rain like january and we're now into february no rain at all which is unheard of in the uk yes, so we could do with a good dose of rain. We're going to have to use a sprinkler, which yeah. is, again, bizarre for this time of year. Right, okay, so I sprinkle, you drive over, yeah? Yeah, do you have keys or something to do? No. What is the technique? You just made it rain grass. This is the best technique. Ah! This is going to get covered. And you. Yeah, I don't want to be growing grass. Do you want to get grass? No! <laughs> <laughs> So let me take you on a little tour, a little kind of, you have to have a bit of vision. So we're going to sow all this with wildflowers. So this all bank will just grow up like that. And then we're going to sow all this with grass so that all this is green and lush 
and then obviously the dome goes in the middle we'll be able to tow that's why we made that that width so we can get the tractor through towing up the mobile bar up here then we get some picnic benches a fire pit um and i think it will all look beautiful and then hopefully when you're in here partying these acoustic buns will keep the sound in um obviously we won't know until we sort of start the partying process um and we, we can be able to sort of test it out but yeah that's that's the idea that you'll just see the dome sort of peeking out the top how are you going with grass seed how much you got left yeah, huh? i want to put it all around the bottom here so i can at least track it in with the tractor yeah so i think that needs to happen what all yeah you haven't done anywhere around here have you nothing really around here no i can always do it like this <laughs> Can you stop throwing grass at me? It's just a waste. Oh, it's raining. But it's like raining grass. <laughs> and a growing grass on my hair. We're just going to give the grass a quick sprinkle. <laughs> Quite a long sprinkle. I mean, like watering in February. Who ever heard of that? So um, we don't want to go and turn on the main because obviously everything's drained. So we don't really want to plug into the main line that we use up here. So we're just going to plug into our house line, which is over there, which means we need a really, really long hose. Well, the tap's on, but nothing's coming out. <laughs> well, we knew that was what happened, didn't we? <laughs> Do you want it on the like half spray or do you want it on like a full? The half full spray, ideally. Okay. Just because. I'm gonna get wet then, aren't I? Oh, what's it on there? Look at that. That is pathetic. That is very pathetic. And now it's up. So I know my, I normally ask you to do sun dances for us, but if you could do a rain dance, that'd be even more helpful. Because <laughs> we just need a bit of rain now, and that sounds absolutely bonkers, because I do love the sunshine, but we need this grass seed to grow. So we're doing a spot of twilight tree planting because um, Brian, this is part of Brian's vision. So explain the vision, Brian. Well, so you're gonna have the entrance there, and once that's all greened over, it'll look really nice, but you lead your eye up here, and when all the cars are parked down there by the pond, they're going to come up, okay, I know it's a muddy track at the moment, but this will become lush green grass and you'll come up like a tree-lined avenue. And so we're just going to plant them. Obviously, it'll take about 10 years to get to my vision, <laughs> but you've got to start somewhere. Yes, and so we've just bought um, 30 silver birch whips. So, um, so the whips just like bare root trees. Um, these are about, I don't know, hold that up to you. Uh, tiny. Tiny, yeah. So they're about a metre tall. Yeah. So these are five pounds each, these trees. So we want to make sure they survive. <laughs> yes. And don't get eaten by the deer. Yeah. So you need to put canes and spirals around all Yeah, of them. well, we'll just get them in the ground now. Yeah. And then I can do canes and spirals. We're going to chuck it down with rain tomorrow. So we're hoping that's really going to help the, the grass, the grass all seed right. and all that jazz. Hang on a minute, aren't you going a bit wide? Like, how wide is this path? Yeah, no, but it's meant to be. Because, like, but that's... I thought we were doing down this, this path here. No, because if you come and stand here, this is all about what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to force the perspective. So it, stay, it starts out wide over here. And already, when you look at something like this, it's going to naturally taper in. But what I'm doing is I'm forcing it to taper in even more. So by doing that, hopefully when these trees have grown up, It'll make the dome look even bigger than it actually is because in, in your head the perspective will be totally different that's yeah. what i'm going with okay i surrender to your creative vision right so that was what uh half 30 minutes to plant 30 trees, 30 trees so minute three a minute that's pretty good that's good going yeah ah, i just tripped over one there it's too dark i can't see where i'm going don't break him <laughs> you made a squawk now oh sorry tree I want them growing up, not to the side. I was trying not to walk in the quagmire. 
Right, that's a good job done. Excellent work. So that was stage one of the event dome build. Hopefully in stage two, which will be in a few weeks time, the dome will arrive, we'll be able to start doing the base um, and get the dome build underway. And fingers crossed that the grass seed decides to grow. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.